Hope is that thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without words and never stops at all. Emily Dickinson. This act of bravery will help others who are so much braver than me. Brain specialist Terry Small, who has presented and studied on the brain for over 33 years, shared, your brain pumps chemicals when experiencing the sensation of hope. These chemicals can block pain and accelerate healing. The result is that the brain can overcome hurdles and move to a place of recovery. Hope allows us to believe that the future holds positive outcomes for us. Hope helps us move forward in life, especially through the challenges and hurdles that life puts before us. I interviewed Balinese people around our Banjar to ask them about their point of view on people being sick with cancer here in Bali. I learned that being sick is considered taboo and something that is often a source of shame for many. A lot of Balinese stay at home when they're ill in fear of being seen. For some, losing hair during chemotherapy can be a painful part of cancer treatment and can often cause many people to feel uncomfortable or, un or self-conscious. Even though losing hair is just a side effect, for some, one of the most difficult aspects is looking in the mirror every day. That's why I want to help children and women feel more confident and hopeful about their futures. My project is called Hair for Hope. Rambut Untuk Harapan. My charity's aim is to collect hair from donations and fundraise to make wigs free of charge for cancer patients in Bali. When my journey towards hope led me to a wig maker here in Bali, Orlando Bassi. When I introduced myself to Orlando, I was first met with skepticism. He wasn't sure whether women or children would want, appreciate, or care about a custom-made wig. In fact, he was right. I hadn't met with anyone in Bali with cancer yet, and I wasn't able to convince him. He gave me the task to prove to him that wigs would be valued, worn, and cared for. 
My next step in my research was a visit to the Children's Cancer Ward at Sangha Hospital and Yayasan Paduli Anak Kanker Bali, the foundation to care for children in Bali with cancer. Here, I met with every child receiving treatment at that time and was fortunate enough to ask them if they'd ever consider the opportunity or idea of wearing a wig. To be honest, before I started my quest, the thought of approaching a cancer patient scared me. I didn't know what to say, and I was worried that I would offend them because of the stigmatism in Bali in regards to people with cancer. But when I walked into the cancer ward, I didn't know what to think. Everything was overwhelming. I was in a ward full of children whom I'd never met. I was extremely nervous, and I didn't know what to say. But after I met with all the kids, I learned that they all have the kindest hearts and are some of the strongest people I've ever met. These kids are bright, brave, appreciative, and don't take anything for granted. It was a life-changing experience to see some of these children who, although in such pain, bore hearts that shined so bright and smiles that could light up a room. I soon learned that there were many children that were interested in wearing a wig, including a 15-year-old girl named Sinta. She had missed so much school because of treatment that she needed to take an examination to get back into school and she really wanted a wig for that test. There was another woman who wanted it for Galungan, and another who wanted to work in her government office carefree. One woman named Yanni said, I'm okay going out wearing a hat, but I was known for my beautiful long hair. And now, my friends ask questions. Sometimes I don't want to explain why I have no hair. And then they get emotional and start to cry, and then I start to cry. I just want to be a happy person and have as much joy and positive energy in my life as I can, so I can be the strongest woman I can be. I went to see Orlando and told him with certainty that my project had value and, I, and he could help me bring a sense of hope to cancer patients in Bali. Orlando agreed to make the wigs, but there was one catch. I needed some hair. <laughs> this brought me to my third stop of my journey of hope my first Hair for Hope event on the 29th of March here at Green School. I only expected two people to cut their hair, but a whopping 18 people ended up chopping their locks for my cause. <laughs> there are many moments in my project where things just clicked. Women came out of the woodworks wanting to donate my hair, some that had cut their hair days or weeks beforehand and had kept it as a relic of something they lost. My quest gave them a reason to give it away, and it was beautiful. I visited salons, made posters, and created an Instagram page in order to raise awareness about Hair for Hope, called Rambut Untu Harapan. Donations started coming in from all over Bali and beyond, and collaborating with Orlando to make the first wake for Sinta was an amazing process. When I went to deliver her gift to Sinta's home, it was a moment I will never forget. The wig was beautifully made and brought out her features. She was so excited to receive her wig. Seeing her smile and the joy radiating within her was the most rewarding part of this process. ago, I went back to Sangwa Hospital and met with the coordinator of a woman's cancer fighting group, who is also a patient herself. I ended up in the chemotherapy ward and met a group of women, three of whom I'm proud to say are the next candidates for wigs. There are 348,000 new cases of cancer in Indonesia in 2018 alone, and the mortality rate is a staggering 60%. According to research studies, positivity can strengthen the immune system. Like in the 1984 Kikolt Glacier study, 
It was learned that the stress lowers the immune system's ability to fight disease and infection. The immune system is a key component to fighting off the spread of cancer, so positivity is crucial in the healing process. This study showed me that it is not only the contribution of uh, the, that is not only the medicinal properties of treating cancer, but it is the contribution of support, hope, and confidence that encourages cancer patients to want to get better and have a reason to live. Hope is important because it can make the present moment less difficult to bear. If we believe that tomorrow will be better, we can bear a hardship today. Thank you.